I'm born and bred in Bushukum Bethlehem in the Free State. I'm the only child. My mom is Mantati Mokwena and my father is Alexis Matam Tahu. My mom raised me as a single parent and then my, my late grandfather took the role of a father figure in my life. May his soul rest in peace. Oh, I started my primary school at Taban Primary School. Then I went to Matataka from grade four till grade six. Then I went to Budikela Secondary School from grade seven till grade nine. And then from grade 10 till grade 12, I went to Harmony High, where I joined Harmony Sport Academy. And then my first amateur team was Juveniles FC. I was coached by the late Coach Briggs and and Lechesa, Coach Lechesa. <laughs> That's what they call him in Meta. Lechesa. So obviously, like my mom used to support me like from the get go. She used to go to to the stadiums since I was in primary school and she was going with my aunt. So they've always been supportive family in my career and and it's cool also. So yeah. From uh juveniles I joined first start development. Then I paid for I think a season or two. Then I left for Greener Pasture, joined Harmony Sports Academy in Virginia. That's where everything started to blossom. I started to play for the national team. I started to win trophies. I remember one engine tournament, I won midfield level tournament, top goal scorer, and play of the tournament. So, yeah. And then we came third in the engine camp, champ of champs. So, yeah. Actually, I'm very honored and proud that Harmony Sports Academy actually opened doors for me. I don't think if I was still in Bethlehem or First Stars, I'll, I'll, I'll be here. Because since I got there, I improved a lot. Obviously, my technique, my thinking, the way I see things. Because Coach Peter is a great coach. That's what he's teaching. That's what he's teaching or he was teaching when I was there. So there's a lot of talent there in Virginia. So scouts, please go check there. Eh? There's a lot of talent there in Free State. I got promoted after Behul tournament that was played in Cape Town in 2016. I, yeah, I was, I was captain in the side that year. So Coach Cope told me that uh, Stan Matthews was very impressed with my performances in the tournament. So I'm going to train with the first team. Then uh, I was very, very happy to hear those, those news. <laughs> yeah, then I went to train with the first team. I remember my first session. <laughs> Colin can tell you I scored from 40 yards. So yeah, that's how I made my mark. <laughs> my first salary, I got my first salary when I was still in high school because I signed with Supersport in July. So I started to, to end when I was still in high school. So because back then I was, back then my mom was giving me 200 a month when I was still in Harmony High. So when I got my two, my first 2.5, I was very happy. Then we shared, we shared, we shared the salary together. And then obviously my salary fees, I, I gave, I gave all of it to her to fix our home because I was staying in an RB, R, RDP house. So he extended, she extended the house. Then yeah. Football is not easy, my brother. It comes with, with a lot of challenges, but obviously, like it's challenges that comes within you. And for <laughs> for me, like what is important is to make my employers and my team my teammates happy. So if I deliver for the team and and for the team, 
so whatever everyone is saying on the outside doesn't really matter to me but obviously like there's always criticism and criticism is very good for us as players because we actually improve from it if you are a stronger person so football is not easy i don't really have a secret uh i'm just a person who works hard i believe in hard work and obviously like coming from bedlam uh my background was not really good because players from my my town didn't have a good reputation in the league so for me i wanted to be the change to change what the perspective the perspective people had about my 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 township so that's what is keeping me going and also those young boys a copanal wanna go strategy we look up to you they really motivate me so i want to see them in the future being one of the national teams players or international players that will make me happy because i really inspired them to to do better in life i'm an a student uh i'm scared of dogs I love hard. <laughs> I'm a great cook. And I can dance. <laughs> yes. That's my top 5. And obviously like he was our leader. He's our he he, he is our leader. Obviously we're going to miss him. But obviously we have to move on again. He made his mark in the team. He contributed to seven cup finals and we actually won four trophies as a captain. That's that's a milestone. Man. That's a milestone. Obviously like this few things I learned a lot from him. Like his commitment, his leadership. Firstly like let me emphasize on on uh commitment he okay <laughs> he gave a lot for the team and he played with a broken shoulder broken rib because he saw the team was struggling he came back everything changed you know there's always that one player when he's not there you can see in the team that someone is missing you are that kind of a player so we're going to miss him a lot but obviously we have to move on and also his leadership like how he treated other players and how he treated people on and off the field i really respect him and also his contribution to my career since i arrived at super sport he did, he did look down on me as a youngster he told me tips boy even if when i was when i was not playing he told me boy I see potential in you. Show, show the coach what you're capable of, and do not hold back. So, from that day, from that day till now, I didn't look back. Hey man, in lockdown, eh? Ish. You know, you're not used to it. He used to wake up in the morning, go to training, then come back later, relax at home, relax, and watch TV, watch movies. Hey, now man, you wake up, there's your girlfriend. Afternoon, there's your girlfriend. Evening, there's your girlfriend. Yeah, my brother, it's really too much, eh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's too much, my brother. It's too much. But then we will get used to it. But we're getting used to it. So yeah. It's been tough but the trainings have been going very well. Kobas, Kelt and Razo they gave us a program we are following as a team so we're in good shape. We can't wait to get back.